Hey, it's me, telling you to smash like, hit subscribe, ring the bell, share on a friend with social media, all that stuff that YouTube likes. But, did you also know I have a Discord? Linked in the description. Down there you can chat with everyone, anyone, and you can get in on the fun of making these everything wrong with. Leave me some sins, I'll shout you out. And this leads into our next important fact. Because down in that little old Discord server is the art room. A special chat where you can get connected with one of several highly profiled artists who can help you with what you need. Whether that be just general art, icons, logos, wallpapers, streaming assets including 3D and 2D VTubers, as well as overlays. Everything your upstart Twitch user, YouTube, you know, streamer needs. As well, a link to my Patreon. In case you didn't see it, in my community tab you will see I have posted the first page of my new webcomic, The Chromatic Chronicles. And if you'd like to help donate to the cause, maybe get, uh, you know, special perks like cameoing in the comic itself, having a special supporting role, or in the top tier, getting your own mini-series. Then head to the Patreon and become a member today. Now without further ado, let's begin with the video. Come on, motherfucker! Come on, motherfuckers, come on! Come on, motherfuckers, come on! When you're so worried about your kid, you throw away something so fast that it breaks the laws of physics. What's with the weird green glow? That's never going to get explained, is it? <laughs> this movie uses so many recycled sounds, I genuinely wonder how much money it saved them in the end. It'll be great to finally meet my American pen pal. I wonder how Fred went from getting pen pals from other countries to being very concerningly obsessed with trap making. I don't know who Ricky is. I'm not sure I want to know who Ricky is. All I want to know is why Daphne is so obsessed with him. I think this is the same decor and overall design as from the Valentine's Day What's New episode. In which case that was based on the zombie island house she was staying in. Velma and laser eye surgery. Strangely, I think this is the only time this ever comes up or ever happens in the franchise. No real point going over all the music since they're basically instrumentals, but they're all okay. Remove one sin. I think this guy is at a lower frame rate, but I'm not sure. Sin it anyway, just in case I'm wrong. Just so all my viewers are aware, peppers and all sorts of spicy things, their capsaicins are based on acidic chemicals and oils, so water doesn't do anything better for it, it makes it worse. Drink milk instead. Anything basic. Welcome to my family's hotel. La Villa Bella. It's a well-known fact if you're a pronoun protagonist in a series, odds are you're going to end up meeting someone who's rich and wealthy and owns a beautiful home. Horndog has harnessed horniness to a harmful and horrifying degree. I grind so many coffee beans, I swear the little suckers are coming out of my ears. Alright, but why are you making a mess on the floor? Why do you just randomly carry hundreds of coffee beans on your person? If anyone's still alive to honor the dead. You say that, but there's no mention in the movie that El Chupacabra has kidnapped or otherwise killed someone. The locals call him El Chupacabra. Which, if I recall, means goat sucker, so you can use that to refer to anyone who is a Torio simp. I've read about him. He's Mexico's version of the Bigfoot. <laughs> nope. Incorrect. Try again for a dollar. What does El Chupacabra look like? A gorilla! <laughs> a bear! <laughs> What does El Chupacabra do? It's good. This man has a ginormous brain, a huge IQ, he wins the Nobel Prize. Destroys crops. WRONG! He's a bully. WRONG! What does El Chupacabra sound like? Like a coyote. Like an ape. Like my Uncle Flacco. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. What does he smell like? Like sulfur. WRONG! Like your 
garbage. Wrong! Like my Uncle Flaco. Wrong! Of Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent. I've read about him. He was revered by the Aztecs as the god of all things good. So why is his statue in the middle of bumfuck nowhere? And did I also mention you're in grave danger? Uh, no. I think you skipped that part. You're in grave danger. Oh, please. When has the gang ever not been in danger during a mystery? I mean, the worst they've been in is being stuck in the digital world with an omnipotent virus. Okay, we literally just saw the Bigfoot attack it. God, I forgot his name. Chari 5. I'm calling him Chari 5. We just saw the Bigfoot attack Chari 5 in the bumfuck hills. So, for that to be heard where Shaggy and Scooby are, it's either insanely loud or there's more than one Bigfoot. The aren't working. Look, I know it's scary, but here's an idea. Maybe take your foot off the gas pedal and coast into, I don't know, a parking lot. Not only is Bigfoot incredibly nearsighted and dumb, but apparently for the first time, Velma didn't need her glasses. We're out of gas! Wow! Right in front of a gas station! What are the chances of that? I don't know. Celestial beings probably playing a tabletop board game got a high roll or something. Alright. And that did what? Interesting. Half man, half beast. How is that interesting? Most cultures have some form or fashion of a furry. Leave it to Shaggy to come to a museum and immediately find the toys. You say that as if to insult him, yet in the very next shot, you all are riding these things around. These stone scooters that don't have any form of propulsion yet seem to move on their own as if kinetic energy is their very uh, existence. Okay, and the point of that was. Ew. Uh, Freddy. I mean, you could say no, but I guess we have to have our standard damsel in distress. So, how does giant stone fists that could turn a man into made of soup help with the snatch and grab? So what? They just left her blindfolded at the top of the pyramid? Did they not expect her to get up and go to the authorities or something? Oh, so I guess Attack on Titan isn't the only universe where the citizens' minds are essentially that of sheep. We have these people who will take up arms just because a magical, obvious animatronic told them to, and yet we have people who journey to Mount Everest and budget to leave their trash on the top of the world. Not to mention all the other dumb tourists who end up destroying historical artifacts and uh, landmarks. Look, it's the vandals trying to disguise themselves by wearing the traditional clothing of the native Indian skeleton. You know what's weird? I think this is the only time that joke is pretty much falls flat. Usually it takes an outside force for the antagonist to find out that they're in disguise. We interrupt your regularly broadcast Scooby Movie to bring you Scooby-Doo, Tiki Scare is no fair. I turn myself into a ghost, Morty! I'm Ghost Rick! That doesn't look or sound anything like my father. Someone is playing a trick on us. Well, that's a pretty huge hole in the plan. The ghost doesn't look anything like the father of the person you're trying to haunt. That's like if I was trying to ha haunt the Brady Bunch with a ghost of that looked like Michael Jackson. Just as I suspected, it's a tracking device. Oh wow, another big hole in their plan. The medallion tracking device has a look at me stupid red button on the back. How did you not press that thing while you were holding it before? How did you not see the button while you were holding it before? It's pretty obvious to feel a big red fuck me button on the back of your medallion. Please. Ignore the stupid dog. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Look, Warner, I get you own the Wizard of Oz, the old classic version, but you don't need to shoehorn in a reference every chance you can. Well, I don't know how to speak Spanish. Why can't everyone just learn English? The most obnoxious Americans in a nutshell. 
And by kidnapping me and framing us as vandals, he was able to derail our investigation and create bad publicity for the pyramids. I wonder if those tourists are still hunting them down. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been a fun plotline in Mystery Incorporated? We get an episode where the tourists find them and try and beat them to death for destroying the pyramid idol or whatever. I just had a thought. Does no one in this town have a gun? Like, not even a stereotypical Mexican drug cartel? Like, this is just a person in a monkey suit. Just shoot them. Shaggy and Scooby used bullet seed. It was super effective and hit five times. Oh, come on. It's bad enough you're trying to steal their land by scaring them off. It's bad enough you tried killing the gang by sabotaging their brakes. You're really gonna desecrate some graves, too? The gifts we left for him are gone. The only thing that's left is the cafe lechera that Charlene made for him. Uh, I don't understand. I'm beginning to. So we're just gonna flatly ignore the actual supernatural shit going on. Like, Ghost Dad just came, got his stuff, left. And you're not gonna bat an eye? I seem to recall someone mentioning coffee grinds. Coming out of their ears from working in the cafe all day. Okay. I get that the coffee beans could be used like, hey, that's just the sort of bit you do in the cafe, but... Why do you still have them on you when you're in the Bigfoot disguise? Like, what purpose does that serve? Aside from letting people know who you are? I never loved you. I loved your money. I mean, if we got married, your inheritance would become mine. Then I was fixing to drop you like a hot tamale and share my riches with my little honey bunch here. There's probably a debate, most likely on Reddit, on what villain is the worst, morally speaking. Probably isn't going to top terrorism because of jealousy, but this is probably up there. These people are very terrible. This is totally racist. Hey, Jimmy Chunga!